helpful, and at times they are, babysitting and invitation to dinner. So many acts that are appreciated by the new parents. But when it comes to advice, grandparents sometimes need to be a little more careful. But when talking to friends, they are so free to share their opinions. Two grandmas know how to raise children, but sometimes they don't always agree. This one will star Rosemary and Mary. Oh, Sophie, I just got back from a trip to Omaha to visit my family. They've got two darling children, a boy four and a girl three. Oh, I bet you had a wonderful time. Oh, I did, but sometimes I think they're too strict with those little ones. They're just babies. <laughs> Hello, you guys. You need a mic. <laughs> <laughs> Can we start it over? Check one, check one. <laughs> Say something when you think they're not raising them right. Now, my daughter and her husband are too lenient, and I think their children need more discipline. Oh, no. I think when they won't eat their vegetables, you shouldn't make them. <laughs> and, and if they want a cookie before dinner, give them a cookie. <laughs> oh, no. If they won't eat their vegetables, make them sit there until they do. <laughs> and if they cry for a cookie, let them cry. Oh no, if they won't eat their vegetables, make, oh that, I'm sorry, that's yours. <laughs> well, I don't agree. My granddaughter is afraid of the dark, and I think you should stay with her until she falls asleep. Well, Oh no, she has to learn to put herself to sleep. You don't want to spoil her. Well, maybe I do. I bought them each a new outfit before I left. They're taking dancing lessons, you know. I know. I bought each of them mine a bicycle before I left. My grandma, granddaughter just won an award in a singing contest. Well, I have to go now. I have a hair appointment. Bicycles? She's always tried to out-grandmother me. <laughs> computers, computers, they're all over town. It's getting me down. Computers, computers, that sounds all around.
right away. Where's your, where's my granddaughter? Oh, she's in her room on her computer. Alex, Grandma's here. Hi, Grandma. Just a minute. Just a minute. I have to check this email. Well, was that an important message? Well, kind of. My friend said she tried a new shampoo and it smells really good. <laughs> oh boy, that's really important. <laughs> How's school? Is it going well this semester? Oh, uh, okay, I guess. Sorry, maybe that's for me. from our class reunion. Just a minute, I'll find them. Did you have a good time at your reunion? Yes, I saw people I haven't seen in a long time. There goes that phone again. Oh, excuse me, I'll be right back. I guess I'll just read the paper. <laughs> Gloves. They don't wear gloves now. 
Well, they should. When I was your age, we always dressed up with hats and gloves. Grandma, times have changed. I'm thinking of getting a tattoo. A tattoo? Over my dead body. And what is that stuff all over your eyes? Eyeshadow and eyeliner. Don't you like it? You look like a raccoon. <laughs> and all that lipstick is unnecessary. You have such a pretty face. Why color it up like that? Grandma, didn't you wear makeup when you were my age? Well, maybe a little. But I had to put it on after I left the house. And take it off before I got home so my parents didn't know. Grandma, what else did you do when your parents weren't looking? We're not talking about me. <laughs> Let's change the subject. Won't you try a cookie now? Well, maybe just one. And then I have to go. Wait. Let me give you something. Here. Go buy that dress and don't get a tattoo. I will. Thanks, Grandma. I love you.
featuring the platinum band. And this time, we're gonna get funky. 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 <laughs> Grandma, from now on, I say you listen to your music and I'll listen to mine, and we'll both be happy. That sounds good to me. <laughs> Me. They'll last me as long as I'll need them. 
Oh, Mom, don't say things like that. We want you around a long time. We're having a birthday party for Debbie next Saturday. I'll pick you up at four. Sound good? Oh, thanks anyway. I'd better stay here. It's too much trouble for you. Oh, don't say that. It's no trouble at all. We love you, Mom. We want you there. Well, I'll try to come. Okay, okay. I've been thinking. I really think that you need a little more exercise in your routine. So why don't we try walking two blocks every day? Two blocks? <laughs> why, you might as well ask me to climb Mount Everest. <laughs> it's the best I can do to get to the dining room table and home again. Well, I just think you'd feel better if you had a little more exercise. Well, tell me that when you're 85. <laughs> oh, I guess you can't, can you? <laughs> I give up. I'm just trying to help. Oh, and yes, you do, honey. I appreciate everything you do for me. I love you, dear. I love you too, Mom. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh. By the way, drive carefully. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> One more thing. This is called the finale. We have a gentleman here who would like to have a word about the roles since we've been talking about moms and daughters and granddaughters. Maybe a little Josie in the building. So he's going to tell us all about the dads and granddads. This is our resident, Roy. Well, this program has been all about grandmas and moms. That's just fine. Well, this program has been all about grandmas and moms, and that's just fine. But I think someone needs to speak up for the dads and grandpas. Right. You know they're also very important. They go out every day and work hard, make a living for their families, and a lot of times they have to choose between that new car they need or sending the money to send their kids to college. And let's be honest here. Dads are supposed to be the head of the household. But many times it's the mom who rules the roost. <laughs> Don't clap on that. <laughs> so let's not forget the dads and grandpas. They're a pretty important part of the team, a very important part of the team. Some wonderful things happen with dads. They, only, they not only mow the grass, shovel the snow, but nowadays, in this new world we live in, they change diapers, they do the laundry, and sometimes they even cook the meals. So let's give a big hand, not only to moms and grandmas, but to dads and grandpas. What will we do without them? Thank you, Roy. Okay, this is going to be our last song from Anna, and it's called Let's Raise the Toast. <laughs> Let's raise a toast to all of our moms. Let's honor them with music and songs. Don't forget the grandmas too. Let's not forget, I did that wrong, but so it again. <laughs> Let's raise a toast for all of our moms. Let's honor them with music and songs. Don't forget the grandmas too, and dads and grandpas for all they do. Let's not forget to send a card just to say thanks. You work so hard. Now we want to honor you on this your special day. If we make trouble, don't feel too bad. It's not your fault, Mom. Blame it on Dad. And if you're in a jam someday, Dad says, Mom always gave you your way. 
We have your genes, your qualities too. All of our virtues we got from you. All our looks, our talents too. Even our faults we can't blame on you. So if you're proud, just take a bow. You are the ones who showed us how. Now we're grateful and we hope you're happy how we Mm-hmm. Yeah. 